didn't think it was gonna, she was going to go like this. Heartache in the Fountain Lake School District tonight after an employee of 20 years died from COVID-19 before students could tell her goodbye. Thanks for staying up late for us tonight for KRK4 News. I'm Alexis Wainwright. Our Hunter Hoagland is back from Hot Springs tonight with the legacy that this woman leaves behind. Hunter. Alexis Alicia Ugarte Chio was a custodian for years at Fountain Lake Elementary, and a quick search on Facebook shows she was loved by just about everyone she met. Her life's journey ended a few days ago from a virus that's now taken more than 4,000 people since the start of the pandemic here in Arkansas. I talked to a woman today who had the privilege of calling Alicia mom. I honestly thought I would get over it at this point and be happy, but just reminiscing again having to speak about it, it's, it's hard. Sandra Vaughn's mom. She wanted to be buried in that dress. One of 334 Arkansans who have died from COVID-19 since January 1st. It's tough. But Alicia Ugarcia was much more than just a number. The percentages of everybody that's lost their lives is very small, you know, but it, like we said, that, that, that was my mother. Alicia emigrated to Arkansas from Mexico in 1974. She had four kids, now all grown, who also call Fountain Lakes home. I saw her every day, and it's hard not, her not being here. I'm talking to her. But every day quickly turned to not at all. When back in December, the glue that kept her family together was taken to the ER with COVID-19. I knew, I just knew something was going to go bad. Alicia's health continued to get worse, and on New Year's Day, the face Sandra saw every day smiled for the last time. I couldn't even touch her, couldn't, hadn't seen her in a month. So I walked her through a glass door and she passed. <laughs> And that was pretty much it. She says her mom had a zeal for life and talked often at home about those who walked through the halls of Fountain Lake Elementary. She loved working there. She loved everybody there. So as Sandra reflects on her mother's life, she hopes people will reflect on what they can do to protect others like her. Anywhere you go, they're going to hand out a mask. They're going to give you antibacterial. So go ahead and take that. Um, because again, like this could take someone else's life. Such an easy thing to do. The Fountain Lake School District posted on Facebook, quote, Alicia always had a smile on her face and took pride in brightening everyone's day. She will be missed dearly by all of us. To read everything they had to say, click on this story on her website, krk.com. Thanks, Hunter.